This video goes with the post the other day, which was a research review um, post looking at glute activation and the impact on um, power production in athletes. So I wanted to go over the exercises um, that were mentioned in that article just to show you what they are. So the first one is double leg glute bridge. Uh, so feet flat on the floor. I'm bracing with my abdominals. I'm lifting my hips till I make a straight line here. Everything comes up together. So I'm just hinging at my hips. I'm not rolling up and down with my spine. And I think about squeezing my rear end when I do that. The quadruped lower extremity hip lift. Um, there can be a couple versions of this one, but typically we do a bent knee version because that takes out some of the hamstrings. So it puts a little more emphasis on the glutes by putting the hamstrings in a shortened position. And the big thing here is to not extend through your spine at all. So all that movement just comes from the hip trying to use um, the glutes as you do that. Then the quadruped abduction. Um, it's here, I call it a fire hydrant for somewhat obvious reasons. But again, I keep my heel as close as I can to my rear end and then bring that knee out to the side without tilting at my hips at all. So getting the glute medius there. Then we'll lie on our side and do a clamshell. So um, in the article it mentions the hips are flexed to about 60 degrees. So this would be 90 degrees of hip flexion. That would be about 60 degrees. My knees are bent to about 90 degrees. My feet stay touching. This hip does not roll backwards as I lift the top knee. From there we go into side lying abduction. Typically I'll have people point their toe down a little bit when they do this, um, they might like to turn their toe up and use a little more the front of their hips. So toe down, and again, not letting the hips open up. Prone single leg extension. So as we'll put a towel roll underneath the hips to do this one in particular, if someone's a little tight in the hip flexors. Um, but it's just here, a little hip extension. Um, if people have trouble with that, sometimes we do it just with the toe on the floor, extending the hip, um, making sure that they feel their glutes tighten as they go. And the stability ball, bilateral squat. So the ball is just in my lower back, and then I squat back. And again, as I come up, I think about squeezing my rear end, sitting my hips down and back slightly. So those are the exercises that were put together in a dynamic warm-up circuit. One set of 10 repetitions of each exercise. And the research study showed that this improved power production in athletes as measured in a counter-movement vertical jump. So those might be some great exercises to add to your dynamic warm-up before practice or uh, games. This is Maria from GoalieTrainingPro.com, where my mission is to help 10,000 goalies win more games with fewer injuries, even if you don't have the natural ability or genetic gifts of your competitors.